Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day. As you can tell by the title, today's video is going to be a little bit different. It's going to be like a um, get ready with me, sit down and just have fun um, playing with makeup while in quarantine, while you're stuck at home, bored out of your mind, um, just ran out of things to do. And I encourage you guys to sit down and kind of play around and do your makeup with me so we can kind of do our makeup together. I thought it'd be kind of a fun video idea. And my boyfriend actually gave me this video idea. He's like, why don't you just uh, do like a sit down, get ready with me, where you just have fun, play with makeup, uh, get creative, do like a fun, um, colorful look. And I thought, you know what, that's an amazing idea. And I'll also be doing this video with a bunch of products that I used to love, but kind of um, haven't used in a while now. So um, I revisited some of my old favorites in this video. I got to play with some color, kind of go out of my comfort zone with this look a little bit, do like a monochromatic cool tone look, which you guys know I never do. So um, I love how this look turned out. And hopefully this video just gives you something to do while you're stuck at home. So if if you want to see how I got this look and maybe just do your makeup along with me just keep on watching all right guys so let's just get started I'm obviously just gonna start off with my um, base makeup of course we have to start off with a good primer I'm gonna use my wet n wild mega jelly primer today um, this is one of my favorites I just love the consistency of it it's really moisturizing on the skin but it also makes sure your makeup sticks in place so Taking some of this and kind of topping it into my skin. So for foundation, I decided to use one I haven't used for a while, um, just because I thought, why not in this video use stuff that I haven't used in a while? Try. Um, try something new so uh, I haven't used my makeup forever um, HD foundation in a while but I love this one honestly it's actually one of my favorite foundations I used to use it all the time but I kind of just stopped using it you know as a makeup guru you find new things that you like and kind of forget about some of those great products that you used to love so I'm gonna be using this today great coverage out of this one feels really great on the skin as well then I'm just going to take my beauty sponge and blend it out. I also like this foundation because even though it's a stick foundation, it works really, really well with a sponge or a brush, which is awesome. So we're just going to blend this foundation all out over the eyelids as well. And I got some great coverage out of that. I'm going to conceal real quick with my Fit Me and L'Oreal. I've just been mixing these lately to get my perfect shade. So I'm going to do that today also. Making my sponge here again. Going right under the eyes. And this foundation also works really well with other products, so that's awesome. We're going to keep with this whole theme of using things that I love. I just haven't used in a while, so I'm going to use this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Translucent Powder. It's actually a great one. I just don't find myself using it often because I just always reach for my Cody Airspun one. But this is nonetheless another great one from the drugstore. So I'm just going to use my sponge. You don't need as much of this part as the Cody Air Spun. It really just sets down nicely and you don't need a lot of product at all. So I'm just going under the eyes. On the eyelids as well. Make sure those are set down for when we do the eye makeup. in between the eyebrows and carrying it up onto the forehead and then around my mouth and a bit on the nose so really just getting everywhere but concentrating the powder on the inner part of my face I'm going to do a bit of um, liquid contouring since we have all the time in the world now we're at home we have time to really contour the face and get that perfect beat <laughs> so 
I'm just gonna dot that there. This is the Cover Effects uh, Custom Enhancer Drops in the shade Sunkissed. This is a great uh, liquid bronzer. So I'm just gonna take my sponge and blend that out since we didn't really powder the face there. Really blend that out. You can see that just carved that cheek so nicely. Do the same over here. I usually don't do like liquid bronzer and stuff because I'm always just trying to do my makeup and get out the door. But since I have absolutely nowhere to be right now, let's just do our makeup extra special. that contour in there and we're gonna do it on the forehead too but instead of putting it on the skin I'm gonna put it on the sponge just so we don't get too much product on there at once just doing a light tap going down so it might seem like a lot right now but with the help of some blending it will all look great in the end so you just want to make sure you're really buffing the product and I like to use the side of the sponge that I did my foundation with because then everything really gets blended out nicely. Let's actually go extra and use a contour palette today. So I'm actually going to be using this Wet n Wild blush brush for my contour. I'm dipping into this middle shade right here and we're just going to go in circular motions kind of up and down right along the cheekbone. Really carve that out. Look at that right there. Get a really sharp contour. Do the same on the other side. I'm going in circular motions up and down. And on the forehead as well. I'm also going to pinch the brush and contour down the nose. And then with the flat side of the brush, I'm going to dip into these two light powders right here. And go down the bridge of my nose right there. Alright, for blush, I haven't used my Essence blushes in a while, so why not use them today? I'm going to take this Luxie Duo Fiber Powder Brush and dip into this Essence Baby Doll Blush. It's a really pretty baby doll pink, just as the shade suggests. I'm just going to apply this to the apples of my cheeks, again, in that circular motion. Just all over there. And a bit on the nose as well, because I've been liking that look of kind of carrying blush onto the nose region too just been liking a heavier hand of blush lately. And because we're being extra today, I'm going to use a blush topper. This is the Vintage by Jessica in the shade Rose Gold. Dip in here slightly because this is pigmented. Just go slightly onto the cheeks. You can see how that just gives you a nice glow right there. And then for the actual highlighter, I'm going to dip into my Sleek palette and we're going to go into this beautiful lilac purple, really sticking with the theme today. And we're going to apply this right to the tops of the cheekbones. It's a really beautiful purple color. And we're really just going to go in with it. Look at that. Ooh, gorgeous color right there. And Cupid's bow, of course. And on the nose. I'm going to keep this around so we can use it on the eyes later. So now that we're done the face makeup, I'm going to bring you guys in a little bit closer so we can get started on the eyes. Alright guys, we're up close and personal and we're going to get started on the eye makeup, which is really the focus of this video where I want to just play around and have some fun with some makeup with you guys. Got to grab my brushes here and I think I'm going to be starting off with my Morphe palette. Um, I actually asked my boyfriend right before I started filming this video what colors he thinks I should use. 
him. I just thought I'd send him a picture of this palette since it has a bunch of colors in it he could kind of choose and he suggested I do purple which is a great idea. I haven't played around with purple um, in a while now. I've done blue recently and like an orange and red look um, and pinks but I haven't done purple in a while so I thought why not. I'm gonna stick to kind of like this lilac-y color right here. I'm just gonna start with a nice crease brush and pick up that lilac color. And we're just going to go right in the crease, right there. I'm just going to continue grabbing this shade and building it in my crease and kind of swiping it out at the same time. Kind of putting this on the outer crease as well and going up into the crease and out the sweeping motion with these light colors you definitely want to make sure you're going layer by layer kind of building them up then I'm gonna take this top shade in the palette it is more of a blue but I kind of want to use some blues in this look too so picking up some of that color and we're gonna concentrate this on the outer corner and blend it up into the lilac shade like so then i'm going to take the um morphe palette again and i'm gonna dip into this deep purple shade and i'm gonna keep this one concentrated closer to the lashes And then I'm going to layer that with the bluey purple shade I was using earlier. Yes. Just going to continue mixing these two shades and layering them on my lid, like the outer portion of my lid. Then I'm going to go right tight close to my lashes with this deep purple right here, just using one of these little uh, straight brushes. Picking up some of that. I'm going to go right close to my lashes and build this color up. This is starting to come along nicely. So let's start working on the lid. I'm going to, of course, cut it. We gotta do a half cut crease. We gotta cut that crease. And I'm gonna use my favorite tool to do that. This is the Wet n Wild Camelback uh, Liquid Eyeshadow. It's perfect because it's a really light consistency so it doesn't, you know, um, make the eyeshadow look look too heavy or anything. It sits really uh, well underneath and on top of other eyeshadows. It's really easy to cut the crease with as well. So I'm just gonna cut it and take it about to halfway. And then I'm gonna take that flattish brush I was using with the deep purple shade and just lightly go on top of this to really make sure it's blended. Alright, now I need to figure out what I want to do on my lid. I think I want to do like an icy white purpley shade. Ooh, I know what I want to use and I haven't used in a long time so this is perfect. Remember these pressed shadow guys? I used to love these and people used to rave about them on YouTube all the time and I feel like I haven't used one in forever. This one is in the shade Flashback Silver. I used to love these, man. I reviewed these on my channel so long ago. But this is what the color looks like. As you can see, it's like a silver, but it has those purple tones in there. So I'm just going to take a little Wet n Wild flat brush. And oh yeah, these things are still pigmented. Tap off a little bit and go right on top. 
Oh, come on, pigment. There you are. That's so pretty. Let's wait till we wet it. I wanted to do a bit of a base, though, before we went in with it wet. Still super metallic, but when we wet it, it's just going to give it that extra kick. So I'm just taking this Essence Hydra Primer Water to wet my brush. Keeping with that outline we made. Ooh. I really like that. That's so pretty. Then I'm going to take that flat brush with the, ex uh, with the excess purple and use this to blend out that center and kind of make that center like a shimmery purple just by mixing those two shades. You can see how easily that was done. Now, just to make that eyelid pop a little bit more, I'm going to take the purple I used as my highlighter. I'm just going to take this on my finger. And I'm just going to place this lightly on top. You guys are going to see how just a ton of highlighter is really going to take that look up a notch. Look at that. Just make it so much more metallic. I just give it that look. I love that. Alright, so now we have to do the lower lash line, of course. I'm going to start off with the light purple shade over here. And I'm just going to dust this very lightly on my lower lash line. You do want to be careful with purples because if you take them too low, it could look like you look a little sleepy or you got a bit of a black eye going on. So when you're doing purples, you do want to be pretty careful. And my eyes watering like crazy right now. <laughs> then I'm going to take that darker purple shade. And just go right in the outer corner and blend it up. And then I'm going to dip into the bluish shade over here. And take this on the outer part too to blend with the purple to make it a little bit more cool tone. Just to match that upper lash line. Alright, so I'm going to go do this look on the other eye and I'll be right back to finish off the makeup look. Alright, so I'm back and I'm done both eyes. I gotta say, I love how this look is turning out. When I do purple looks, I usually do like warm tone purple looks with like pinks and oranges to complement. I rarely do cool tone looks, but I'm really liking how this turned out. So let's finish off the eyes. I'm going to highlight the brow bone a little bit. I'm just going to take this creamy shade in the palette. And I'm just going to dust it on the brow bone just to lift a little bit. And of course, we gotta highlight the inner corner as well. I'm going to take that sleek palette with the purple shade, but this time we're gonna load it on to the inner corners just to really finish off the eyes. Like so. Alright, so I'm going to take some mascara. This is the Voluminous Superstar X Fiber Mascara from L'Oreal. I'm going to start with step one. And I'm just going to put this on my top and bottom lashes to give them some length and separate them. And I do feel like applying uh, false lashes today just because if we're being extra, well, why not? So I'm going to go apply some Ardell Wispies and I'll be right back. Alright, so I just popped on some Ardell Wispies, and I love how they complemented uh, the look. I didn't want to do any liner or too big of lashes, because I really loved how the eye look turned out. And I love how wisp out it was, so I wanted to do something very light for the lashes, but I still wanted to do something so that um, the eye look looks complete. So now it's time to do the lips. I'm trying to think what I want to do. If I want to do something um, like more nude or kind of monochromatic to match the eyes gotta think. I'm back to an oldie but a goodie. I'm gonna try to use my Super Stay Matte inks today. I used to love these. I'm trying to think. No, not a pink. So I just do something monochromatic. Could. Or I could go with a nice nude. I feel like I want to try the whole monochromatic thing, but we gotta line the lips first. I'm going to take this Rimmel liner in the shade Cappuccino and I'm going to line my lips quickly. And now we're just going to take this shade in uh, Philosopher. It's like a light purple. I haven't worn this in a while, so if it looks bad, wish me luck. Oh, this is purple.
a little more purpley than I thought it would be. So I'm going to take this infallible um, lip paint in the shade Topeless. And we're just going to use a little tiny bit of this just to tone down the purple a bit. I really like how this kind of monochromatic look kind of turned out. I'm kind of digging it. Kind of digging the cool tones even though I don't do them often. So I think this was really fun for me to kind of venture out and try something new. Come back to some products I used to love and everything like that in this video. And just chat with you guys while doing it. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this Get Ready With Me. I know it's a little bit different but I thought, you know what? If we're still stuck in the house, why not do something a little bit different and just sit down and have fun with some makeup. If you want to see more videos like this, uh, let me know down below in the comments and I can do a bunch more like just sit down, get ready with me's. Um, but anyways, please subscribe if you haven't already and make sure to turn on my post notification bell so you get notified every single time I upload a new video. And yeah, I will see you in the next one. Bye!